Hey y'all, I'm in Dollar Tree. Sorry, there's a customer who's yelling and I, I need to film. So, I'm gonna start the drink out with the, today's um, stocking up on a budget. These are a terrific deal. The Old Orchard, this is an apple, and this one is in cranberry. Now, just to forewarn you, some of my stuff here is, is going up. So most of it's still a buck and a quarter, but some of it's a dollar fifty. So yeah, if I say it wrong, I'm sorry. So let's go on to the next item. We have these Tempico Zero Sugar Citrus Punches, and then right below it we do have the Sunny D and Tangy Orange. Oh wow, fifty six ounces. You know what? That's not actually bad for a buck and a quarter, but back in the day they were like a hundred twenty something ounces, weren't they? Okay, this energy drink caught my eye because it's the red, white, and blue, but it's called 3D. It's Liberty Pop. Over here, we have Big Game Energy Sour Gummy. And then, oh, this shit caught my eye first. Rip it. Energy. These are still all a dollar and a quarter, I believe. And then down here, we have the Big Game Energy in a different flavor. This is Pink Passion. If you drink these, I would definitely stock up on these before the prices go up because, as I said earlier, prices are going up in my store and just all over the place. We all know this. So, if you drink this kind of stuff, I would just get a flat full of it. And then we have G Fuel and Rockstar. Let's see what they have for water because that's like a basic necessity. Okay, this is disappointing because as you can see, they're just these big bottles of it. And what is this? This is a this is Perform X. I don't think that's. Let me see. And they all are grape. It's 33.8 ounces. I don't know anything about this brand because it's not. I drink Propel. Is that what I drink? And then, oh my gosh, look at that. The little six packs. And then a four pack. And then there's more larger bottles right there. I mean, that's just kind of crazy, but let's check them out. Okay, this is alkaline water. I can't read the ounces. I think it's, I don't think that's a 64. It's 50.71. And then we have the Pure Life down here, but I'm wondering where the bigger... We used to have bigger jugs of them, so I'm going to go look for those. Okay, here are the one gallons of water. So, we only have one shelf of it, as you can see. So, i definitely be picking some of these up. This is the cheapest place I found for water. Well, Hy-Vee has actually some cheaper. Okay, on last week's video on this channel, Carmen Unfiltered, I did the soup, the canned food, so in the meat over here. So if you haven't seen that, go back and check that out. Like I said, it's only like a week old. The SpaghettiOs, the Nors. So let's start over here. Now, brown rice, here's the thing. This is gonna go up, rice in general is gonna go up. So I wanna see what the expiration dates are on these. And, cause I like to eat a lot of rice, but I'd be getting your rice. Okay, the rice right here is 2 of 26, so I'm, I grabbed a bag of that. Okay, the white rice is July of 26. So, expiration dates are getting better. Um, I'm finding that you have to go to different stores to find the better expiration date, but these seem to be all marked the same on July of 26. Make sure you put them up properly so they last longer than that. I'm thinking I'd grab one, but I think I'm not. I'm gonna pass tonight. I did show these on last week's video. The black beans, um, the jasmine rice over there. But I'm telling you, all prices are gonna go up. And rice, so grab your rice. And Dollar Tree prices are raising to who knows what on what items. So I would definitely stock up on this white rice for a long term storage for sure okay talk about shrinkflation <laughs> i mean at least they ain't trying to hide it <laughs> i know that's not proper english i really don't care right now 
but these little bottles are eight full ounces for a buck and a quarter for the Thousand Island, the Ranch, and the Italian. But I'm happy to see that the Kraft barbecue sauce is 18 ounces and the expiration date is, it's only May of 25. Some of them are July, June, and this one's August. So, uh, I don't know if I have an old container of that, but. Okay, and this is why I move bottles around, because this was the first bottle, see, May of 25, and here we go. At least it's two more months. So I'm gonna grab the sweet brown sugar. Okay, now here's a suggestion. If you're finding like that I do, that like the ketchup, the expiration is not changing at your other stores, hit Dollar Tree, hit Aldi, whichever store. If you're going to Aldi, then hit Dollar Tree and see if you can find some that lasts longer. But they do have the Hans. These are 14 ounces. And the Best Buy is January of 26, so that's not that bad. I'll price check it because I'm going to another grocery store here after I'm done videoing. Now, if you're a Bullseye fan, they have it in the Honey and the Original, as you can see. And these are actually, ooh, September of 25, July, August. These are August. Let's move on. No. So at least my store is rotating. Oh, okay, I say that, and then this one's April of 25. But maybe they didn't have room to put it here. I don't know. I'm gonna guess. Okay, they have the corn mix here, and I was gonna say I would not pay a dollar twenty-five for that. But as you can see, it is 75 cents, which is more reasonable for the Jiffy corn mix. Okay, this is another thing I want to check because this is 2.82 ounces of instant coffee. Now, if you're on a budget and this is like all you can afford, I would definitely pick it up here because I do know that instant coffee is going up in price. And oh my gosh, somebody is spraying the crap out of a can of something and they need to stop. So, anyway, sorry guys, that drives me nuts. So, this one is 8 ounces. It's an original. Oh, they heard me say it because I stopped. And this one is um, 8 ounces also for the French Renault. I don't know why I was thinking different. They kind of threw me off my game. But so, I don't know, check out between what's here. And again, if you don't have an Aldi, this might be your only option. But check out your Aldi so you can see the price difference. Okay, this is a new find for me, the garlic sea salt. Probably not the best thing to... You know, have in your long term pantry, but an interesting find, especially if you know with the garlic flavor. These I do like to get, I cannot buy these. My bun machine needs a deeper coffee filter, but these are awesome deal for a hundred of them. Believe me, if my coffee maker took these, I would have a ton of these. These are going up in price. Nobody talks about these, but these are going up in price. I'm paying double for a hundred coffee filters from what I paid mm, four years ago. So I'd grab them. Now I personally, I like get my top row noodles here. I don't taste a difference. So if you do and you want to pay 10 bucks a bag, go for it. I'm not. And um, let's see that they have them in the chicken, the shrimp. I want to check expiration dates. Okay, they also do have them in the beef flavor or the expiration date. It's not bad. It's like a matter because you're at a different store. And then we do have these like ones that you can take into work that are easy to microwave in the container. I'm just going to hold it up here. I do like the fact that they have the chow mein. I can't find chow mein noodles in my area, so yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do about that, but let's look over here for some of the snack stuff. Okay, the yeah, salt teens are eight ounces, and I want to check that with Aldi because eight ounces for a buck and a quarter, it could be worse. But now let's check out some snack items. I know they're not necessarily like. I'm just going to kind of show you what's here. Um, they're not necessarily a necessity, 
an emergency situation, but for me personally, I'm telling you, if something happens, I want to have a little bit of something that I enjoy to eat for food at my house. So, you know, we have a lot going on with election and everything. Um, yeah, I'd be getting some food. So, you know, I have not seen these before. Chocolate loaf cake. I bet you could shove this in your freezer. They have coconut bars. These are really actually pretty good. My mom bought some of these. How many are in these? Okay, now my mom got them at a different store. But I might give these a try because, well, it's a serving size right here. Five servings, but contain container, and it's two wafers. So I want to see if there's a difference between here and Aldi. Because, I mean, look at the size of the box and look what you get at Aldi. So I'm kind of confused about, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm kind of confused about that. But I do like, if they're the same size, I'll be good with that. If there's something... Let's go over here. Okay, down here we have the 18 bags of these sandwich cookies, and we have it in chocolate and vanilla. And this one, sorry, I moved it before it's done. And then the vanilla over here, that's not a bad deal. And I bet you could freeze those also. Okay, so we have the fudge mint cookies. I personally do think these like, taste like Girl Scout cookies, and I know for darn sure you can freeze these because I've done it. And then, this is something new that I haven't seen or paid attention to. I'm sorry, y'all. I don't know what's going on with my camera tonight. But, um, the Lemon Sandwich Cream Cookies. Let me know if you have tried these. These are 10.1 ounces. So, that looks like it would be a really good deal. Um, if you have little kids at home and something they would need, there's a 10-pack. If you rotate this out, this is a good deal. You know, you keep rotating from your... <clears throat> excuse me, stockpile to your working pantry and keep them up to date. Okay, I just had to show you this because I'm like, um, hmm. these are, they're, they're four ounces. Let's see how many cookies you get. There's 3.5 servings per container for four cookies. So you're getting 12 cookies in that little thing. Um, y'all know I'm cheap, I'll pass. Okay, I missed this earlier. There's lemon juice here. Three point, no, it's 17 ounces. Look at that, for a dollar and a quarter. That is a really good deal. And then they have the lemon juice from Concentrate. That's eight ounces. I was going over to snack out and saw that. Here, of course, is the milk, the modern pantry milk. That's something to always get. Now, I don't personally use these, but if you do, the Eagles and the Sweet and those, um, they're 1.7 ounce packages, all of them are. And the Sweet and Lows, yep, same thing. So it's like 50 packs. Okay, I feel like these Rice Krispie Treats are a better deal than what we're buying in the box. I bought a box of them, I was shocked. For $1.25, um, they're 2.2 ounces. I can't remember what they were in a box from a big box store, but yeah, I feel like it. I'm just getting more for my money with those. We do have the Brim's White Cheddar Popcorn, but I have noticed that the movie theater goes out pretty quick. We have the potato skins down here, the cheddar and bacon, which are really delicious. Again, these are items to keep rotating between your stockpile and your working pantry. Okay, going out of the food aisle, I just want to touch on a basic, a few basic necessities. You can get different kind of packs and different, you know, uh, soft, medium. But this one's a six pack. That's a great deal for a dollar twenty-five. Right below me, as you see, they have Colgate. They have Kiss Crust. What is this? Brush bubbles, herbal toothpaste. They have the sensitive tooth toothpaste pick some of these up they have a variety of different flosses for you to choose from i'll do a longer term video on this but i mean the reach right here for a bucket and quarter i'd say is a good deal and then you have the grins up here the clean and double and then the oral bees over here 
they even have close-up down here again I'll do these in a longer video but I just want to touch on this because I want to keep reminding y'all pick this stuff up especially with Dollar Tree raising their prices okay here's some nylon cables look at this you get eight pieces they're nice and long for a, well we all know the price sorry I keep saying that these cords are an awesome deal I don't know how well the utility knife works but that's a good deal just for backup they have a little screw set here um, these clips it's always a good idea to have some of these the locks long nose suppliers I could have used some of this the other day electrical tape two rolls for a dollar and a quarter and just look in here I have buckets I mean that and these are not like they're not bad so I would pick one of these up you never know what you're gonna use need them for so I would definitely get um, a bucket and lastly make sure you have plenty of pins if you don't 12 of them it's a good price and make sure you have these over here just for writing your dates so you know when to rotate your food and I'm going to end my video here. I hope you all enjoyed this. And I look forward to seeing you on my next Stop and Up video. Until then, have a great day.